arrived at Tain Golf Club, um, two interesting stories. One is that Gus here was a member of a club where I was a member 30 years ago. Yep. That's about 450 miles away from where we are now. Yep. So you've done a bit, bit of a move for you. Just a bit, yeah. I'm only here for the day, but you're you're captain of this golf club. I am, yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah. It's well, this year's hard. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's been it's tough for everybody. What's happening yeah, at the minute? Exactly. And the second thing is the competition you're playing for today interested me because there's a bottle of whiskey and a few glasses <laughs> waiting. <laughs> in it. It's eight in the morning. So what's all that about? Yeah, the tra tra tradition is that we have a, a wee dram before. Yeah, yeah. The tea off. Yeah. At the first, and then maybe one or two. A wee dram after, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. And this is a competition that you play every year since every year, yeah. 1966. These, these, this group have been up since 1966. Yeah. 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 What a great way to start a game of golf. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yes. Sometimes I could do with one when I'm out there. Never mind when I start. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We've got it easy today. There's no wind. No, no, oh, yeah. no. You don't get many days like this at team. So no excuses. No excuses. Course record 64. Okay. <laughs> right. So we'll bear that in mind. <laughs> Actually, I've just decided to come back from the first tee because I've been persuaded this is a good start to the day and could help the game. It will. And th the word is? Slange. Slange, everybody, and we'll see how this uh, helps me or not through this next 18 holes. Slange. Perfectly finished. Yeah, yeah, Slange. good. Thank you. on hole two. That's a great start to the day. And what is going to be a gorgeous day, that sun has come out, this looks absolutely stunning right now. I know when I like a golf course because I film so many clips in, we've just played three holes and I can't believe how much footage we've already gathered. It's fair to say old Tom Morris knew how to design a golf course. And the, uh, again, the sort of complexity within that green, where the bunkering is, and how difficult this shot is, it's probably uh, hard to see on a camera, but uh, ideally, you want to throw it all away. Is that any good? I don't know. No, it's not. It could come back, you know. Nah, it stayed there. But you, you want to throw that all the way to the flag, but you know the way that green is sort of upturned, that if you go at that, the chances are you're going to fire off the back. Um, so again, that's a question of your game that, um, well, you've got, to, you've got to be inventive and creative around these courses. Go ball. Be the right club. Be the right club, sit, sit. That's not a bad pace. That's a tough pin to hold at the front of the green. Cause I don't think I pitched too far on. And obviously, and again, you probably can't see from there, but that's all uh, down the hill um, from the front here. So yeah, bit brutal pin position that one. I've just had the, uh, I've just stood up here and had a look. This eighth hole, par three, is so nice. It's got to go a bit, I think. I might have underclubbed on this. Oh no, I didn't, but it's going to go in the bunker. Ah, great golf hole, great golf hole. I'm just coming to the end of, uh, well, this is a ninth hole and I can't speak highly enough for Tain Golf Club. Uh, those first nine holes, I mean, I loved every one of them. Um, the whole point of this series, Scotland's Less Obvious, is to showcase courses like this that perhaps don't get 
the recognition, um, the spotlight shone on them. And certainly Tane deserves it because it's a, it's been so far anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up again when I've played 18. But honestly, it's been in great condition. And uh, like I said, I just can't say enough good words about this place. I might add one more if I birdie this. It's got a fair bit of movement in it again. Swing. Aye, over ready. Well, a decent form. Again, what a great golf hole nine is. Decent ball again. Do you know the interesting thing is as well, as let's see, in the space of 24 hours, uh, I, I struggled on the Boat of Garden video in terms of being able to play. And uh, today, I, I literally, I'm at the proper polar opposite of my game. This is the best I can play. And yesterday was probably the worst. One fifty in. Um, we've not played anything blind as yet, and this is kind of um, we can see the top of a red and white marker, and uh, those two high or mounds rather than dunes. I uh, got one fifty in. I don't know what lies over the top, apart from there's a green there somewhere, but. but it's right of the target line by quite a bit. Now, whether that's right and okay, or right and not okay, I don't know. It's slightly uh, sort of half-hearted swing there. One of the worst uh, strikes of it today. I always think that when you're playing blind, or perhaps when you've never played a course before, and you're a little bit tensitive because you don't know what, well, you don't know what the safe side is in terms of a miss. And like I said, uh, whether or not that's okay or not, we'll soon find out. But uh, yeah, it definitely, um, it definitely makes you more tentative. That's exactly the word that I would use. We still don't know what lies over the top. There's a great view coming, I know that much. Swing, 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 swing. Oh, jeez. Oh. That would have been a bit of an icing on the cake. I really thought that was in. Oh. We're going to have a look over here. Oh, come on. Tain Golf Club. This is a place, this, you know. It really is. So we're literally looking uh, at Dornoch. I don't know what part, maybe it's a little bit further up to my right, but we're looking at Dornoch. Uh, I think they call this a Dornoch Firth. There is a bridge uh, that we've just come over from Dornoch as to where we're staying. And it's just, uh, it's an incredible location.
Ah, it's in the middle, it's safe. That's probably the biggest crowd I've played in front of in 20 years. I'm gonna wait away to the 18th tee and honestly, I've not enjoyed myself on a golf course uh, as much as this for quite some time. Uh, maybe it was come as a big surprise to me just how good it was. And I think maybe this really is a video and a golf course that epitomizes uh, what this series has all been about, which is showcasing golf courses that perhaps lie in the shadows of its bigger neighbors, but uh, they're well and truly decent golf courses in their own right. And uh, Tain Golf Club definitely fits into that category. Thank you.